Hi, I'm Gene Glasgow, president of the uh, West Coast Chapter Game Wardens of Vietnam, and I'm here with uh, uh, retired Captain Ken McGee, uh, president of the Vietnam Unit Memorial Monument Foundation. And uh, we, today we've been discussing uh, specifically what we're going to be doing with the uh, PBR maintenance crew and their ongoing work in progress on the PBR. And so I asked Ken to maybe just say a couple of words about how we're progressing here with the with the monument, maybe something that's pertinent to the game wardens in light of the upcoming uh, convention they're going to be having in uh, Norfolk, Virginia. So, uh, Hello to all the game wardens and I uh, hope your convention is going well. I uh, want to thank the new members of uh, our memorial that are supporting the PBR, uh, maintaining it for the game wardens. It's a, uh, the three boats that are here are priceless relics of uh, our service in Vietnam, as is the wall with the names of the 2,564 Navy and Coast Guard people who died in Vietnam. Uh, hope your convention goes well and uh, you all come out and see us, yeah? I'm here with Sam Browning, one of uh, three volunteers here at the uh, Naval Amphibious Base where we have our static PBR display at the Vietnam Unit Memorial. And uh, Sam has uh, uh, given some of his unselfish time and we really appreciate it. Sam, where were you uh, in Vietnam? I was stationed down in Canto in uh, Ben Thuy. And you went with what river section were you? 511. 511, yes. Okay, great. You've, I understand you removed some of these wood chocks from underneath. Oh, the, yeah, uh, yeah. We, they were bolted on to the, to the cradle, and we had to ground all the bolts off, and wedge it up, and knock the wood out. The wood was rotting, right, wasn't yes, it? Yes, it was. It was deteriorating real bad. Okay, great. Now they want to put some rubber underneath the frame so it don't sit on the cement. And I understand that from time to time you fellas put a coat of wax on a PBR too. Yeah, yeah. You can't make it look good. So yeah. this is a work in progress, right? Oh yes, yes it is. Where do you live uh, now? Uh, I live down in the South Bay area. Oh okay, great. So it isn't too far of a commute for you with today's price of gasoline? Not too bad. Oh that's good. I'm glad to hear that. Well, we want to thank you very much for your time and effort. We really, really appreciate it. Uh, and so do us, the Game Warden Association. This my pleasure. Thank you, Sam. Okay. Hi, I'm here with uh, Cliff Elward, and uh, Cliff is another one of our fantastic volunteers here at the Vietnam Unit Memorial, and uh, helping uh, Sam and uh, Roy Adair in uh, keeping a, a close eye and maintaining the integrity of our uh, static display PBR here on site at Coronado. Where were you, Cliff, in Vietnam, and what did you do? Uh, I was on uh, swift boats. Okay, my first two months in country was in uh, Da Nang, and then we moved down to uh, Antoy, where we went operated out of sea float and most of the time. I was there from uh, 69 to 70. Did you ever run into uh, Admiral Zumwalt's son? Uh, uh, yes. Uh, Lieutenant JG? Normally, when we was on patrol at sea float, he was either one boat behind or one boat ahead, you know. Right, right. He used to run the three or four boats at a time, you know. Wasn't he out of Antoy, too, uh, occasionally? Yes, mm -hmm. okay. it sure was. I remember he came up into uh, Hot Tien. Ant Antoy was our main three-day rest base, and load up. Very good. Are you retired? Uh, uh, yes, sir. Okay, great. Where do you live? Are you local oh, here? Yeah, I'm from San Diego. I live in Mission Valley. Okay, you know, great. 15 minutes away. Oh, that's great. You know, on a slow day. <laughs> yeah, on a slow day, yeah. Well, we really appreciate it. With the cost of gas and everything, we really appreciate your time and, and uh, what you're doing to help game wardens. It's, uh, it's, a, it's a tremendous benefit to have somebody here local uh, in the area that, are, that it's close by that can help us maintain this, uh, this PBR and, and the grounds here. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Here in Coronado at the Naval Amphibious Base. We're speaking uh, this morning with uh, Mr. Roy Adair, who we really appreciate everything that you've done. Since, uh, so, where were you in Vietnam, uh, Roy? Uh, I had a close affiliation with the PBRs at Cat Lo. Okay. Uh, our initial deployment uh, was in 1966 with the hovercraft. I was with the Pack Vs, and we were we had swift boats, PBRs, and Pack Vs there at Cat Lo, and. Uh, so I feel like I've got somewhat of a bond with this, uh, with this little monster here. Absolutely. And uh, I'm going to do what I can to uh, help keep it bright and shiny and uh, uh, whatever maintenance is necessary, as long as I'm able. We want it, we, uh, thank you. We understand that you put a, a coat of wax on the hull uh, Oh, yeah. The we, I come over at least twice a month, and uh, I'll do the bottom first. And then the next two weeks later, I'll come up and I'll work on the top. And I'll, 
come back and so just alternate back and forth, washing and waxing. Sure. Uh, uh, I, I forgot to ask you, are you retired or? Yep, retired Navy. I stayed in the Navy uh, 28 and a half years. Uh, after my uh, tour in Vietnam with the Brown Water Navy, I, I went back into aviation and uh, I finished out my career as an A6 pilot, flying the, the A6 intruder. Oh, really? But uh, yeah. So I retired in 1989. Then I worked for the Boy Scouts for 11 years, and now I'm fully retired. So it's just me and the PBR here and the rest of these uh, uh, watercraft. Sure, sure. Mm -hmm. uh, do you live locally in the area? I live you? in Coronado. Okay, so you're close by. With the you price, today, the price of today's gas, that's a that's a big help. You got it. <laughs> yeah, that's great. Well, well, thank you very much, Roy. Yes, sir. We, we really appreciate all that you and, and uh, uh, the PBR maintenance crew of. Uh, the Vietnam Unit Memorial have done for us. It's my pleasure and I'm just proud to be a part of it. Thank you so much, sir.